you, to Mr. Trustee, to the distinguished faculty, to the Golden Weavers, to the friends and family long suffering of these students, <laughs> to all of the people who have joined us uh, today, and to Ryan, thank you very much for pointing out that most of your news comes from the Comedy Channel. <laughs> I'm about to say something very scary to you, Ryan. <laughs> Most of my news comes from the comments. <laughs> In thanking all of the honored guests here today, I have overlooked one, which I should never and will never overlook. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will welcome with me the uninvited guest, a sparrow. <laughs> Before I begin my brief words today, I wonder if the students would accommodate three requests that I have. One is, would you please spell Smarty Pants graduates the following word? No one who will do microscopic silly ball catechonicilliosis. <laughs> You're not that smart, see? <laughs> it is the longest word in the English dictionary in a non-technical form. It's a lung disease caused by breathing the silica from a volcano. You probably won't run across that much in your careers. <laughs> but I presume that you can't spell it, or someone in the room thinks they can spell it, I was prepared to ask you to spell it in Sanskrit. But seeming that there is uh, no one here that can spell it, let me move on to my second request. My second request is that since you will be seated here for another hour and a half, I'd like you to just uh, move forward in your chairs just a little bit. You don't have to move very far. Just move forward. All the students, please move forward in your chairs just a little bit. Thank you very much. Now, uh, you don't have to sit there the whole time. I'll have to move back. Now, Hold your breath for the count of five. Here we go. Hold your breath. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, now breathe. Go back to sit where you were. What I have just done is controlled my world. <laughs> it does not escape me that there are journalists in this crowd. I see many photographers and many people with pencils and paper, and they will be bound by the rules of journalism to report that from the moment Don Shelby began to speak, he held his audience spellbound and breathless at the edge of their seats. <laughs> To my Anishinaabe friends, I am Obashi Wendini. I was given the great honor of being given that name. And I am so glad that this school, among the schools in the state of Minnesota, concentrates on your education and your success. that there was a terrible circumstance after the death of Nikolai Ceausescu 
in Romania that left many, many children in need of homes. And more than a thousand children were adopted by Minnesotans and brought here. And today I had a remarkable occasion of seeing Leah in person. delightful soon to graduate student from BSU. I was touched by that moment and I will forever be touched by that moment. Because you will always be asked someday in the future the but-for test. In law there is a but-for test. Would something happen but for something else happening? I will always wonder would Leah Hero graduate from Bemidji State University but for a series of stories that we did? I don't know. I would hope so. <clears throat> Vice President Erickson, I present to you the honors candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Fine Arts, the Bachelor of Science, and the Bachelor of Applied Science degree. Yeah! President Quisgard, these honors candidates, having met all requirements for graduation, are recommended by the deans and faculty to receive these degrees. Candidates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, I confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Applied Science. Will the junior ushers please conduct the honor graduates to the platform to be recognized? Sarah Peterson. 